guys, I know you missed it. No, you love to see it. We are back in this biz night E. It's TK, queen of the motherfucking mic. Whoa. Dope tomorrow. King and of the I... motherfucking troll. Ooh, I like that. I'm not King troll. That. I'm not sticking with that. King troll. Nah, man, but it is, man. <laughs> Left hand sitting down, right hand standing up two times on Sunday. Y'all know the vibes. Okay. I don't know what that means yet. Once I process it, I get back with you. But Masturbation. I'm just going to put it out Oh, there. that's the first thing I thought, but then I was like, nah. Every time I say that, people be like, "What do you? why do you switch hands? I'm like, well, I grew up in the computer age, so your mouse is in your right hand when you sit down. So it's left Look hand sitting in the computer? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so afraid of a virus. Oh, they've they been got that out of the way. Hell no. Hell no. Pornhub ain't no. Anytime I've ever looked at fucking porn on my computer, I've gotten a virus. Pornhub is virus free, baby. Listen, I just I just stick to my phone. Um, I have a little thingy. Pleasure me. But see, then you be getting <laughs> notifications, be throwing it off. What? That ain't you ain't said nothing but a motherfucking word, okay? You see, iPhone has this lovely moon that says, do not disturb, bitch. All of that goes away. You ain't got to worry about none of it. You ain't got to worry about none of it. Well, I guess we should Let's get it started and hot. <laughs> First of all, we haven't even introduced the show. We this, haven't. This is Taking Shots episode. Taking Shots. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow. I guess because we haven't done you this. We do so much. I guess, no, nah, I guess we haven't done this. go to show. India and come back a whole different person. And that's crazy because it really be your own people. Well, let me see. Shout when out I, to Rob, though. Because when I got back, yeah, I can't do it this week. No, I didn't I was, say. I was like, I cool. Say, I, I was said, like, no, yeah, I said we need to start this week because I had a lot going on. You know, we're both in the process, on the rise, on the come up. You know, I had a lot going on. I knew that, so I said let's start fresh in November, and here we are. All right, so this is back and forth, episode eleven. Back, back, forth and forth. Ah, ah, ooh. Ooh, back, back, forth and forth, back. You get, you, ooh, you get, ooh, you was in it. You put your back in I got the sauce into it, man. <laughs> I got the sauce with it, man. You know how, I, you know the vibes, that man. That is funny. Well, welcome back for episode 11. We are in this biz night. E, again, I go by the name of TK, Queen of the Motherfucking Mic, and this is... Dope tomorrow at me on all social media. Like, Period. subscribe, share, do all the things you do on social media for both of our pages. Although y'all seem to be showing her a lot more love than me. Nah, we gonna get you right. I got this haircut for y'all. And my hair ain't nothing. I got on the Nipsey Hustle shirt for y'all. I'm supposed to get some lights just off the Nipsey Hustle, yo. I created this shirt myself. I tried to sell it, but they took it down. Oh. They did. So I'm, this is a one of one. That's nice, though. This is a one of one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. Speaking of hair, um, I am getting locks. I am locking it up. I am locking my hair. You know, um, I I I am over it. I already know what I'm gonna look like because my whole family has them. I'm actually so, locks. Yeah, I I had them when I was in high school. I took them out. <laughs> oh, okay. I just I was like, no, it's too permanent. But now I have seen box braids done with locks beautifully. Yeah. yeah. I have Facts. seen um, a lace front melted. Or like like beautifully done on top of locks. I have seen women get closures on top of locks, and you don't know that there are locks underneath there. Granted, once your hair gets like super long or whatever, it's like you have locks. But like the the little uh, ugly phase, should I have to go through that? Like that. Oh, are you gonna have to cut your hair down? No, I'm not. She she just locks it. So you you got long hair anyway? Yeah, I do. But still, like you know, I feel like locks is like a shrinkage kind of thing. You know, it's kind of like I compare it to twist in a way. It's okay. Like your hair it will shrink right. a little bit. I just don't want it to shrink. <laughs> no, I think you're good. Yeah, we're we're not doing that. But yes, I'm getting locked because I'm over all this. And my mom has some and she's beautiful. So I figured, <laughs> why not? But if I am ugly, don't fucking tell me to talk about me behind my back. OK, so really like with locks, you can't undo those. Um, my sister had locks from the age of five to the age of she took him out before the weekend before her 16th birthday. She cut the tips and combed everything else out. Huh. So uh, contrary to popular belief, you can take locks out. You are going to have a hell of a lot of fucking split ends. So you're going to have to chop your split ends out to have like a 
healthy thing. But most people that grow their locks out for long, their hair be like down here. So if your hair's down here and you take it out and you go up there, you probably be like right oh, here. Okay. That's so good. it's not too bad. Not too, too bad. But anyways. What's on the docket? What is on that? A lot of shit has been happening. A lot's going on. Um, It's fucking cold outside. Facts. It is co- like... That's like that's what we get for complaining about it being hot outside. Is it fall girl summer? Not doing that. No, that's over. That that went out when I went to India. It's cold. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but but I but I do like being in my bed alone. For really? Under I I'm an omnivert. Like I there's nothing actually I enjoy both sides. I enjoy being out socializing, but I enjoy just as much being in my fucking bed and watching TV and movies and occasionally eating and maybe hitting the blood if I'm, hey. you know, and like, it's just like this time with me, not really holding my phone, not really, I love that shit. I live for that. I, you know, I've been on some edibles lately and I've been in bed and I feel you. I don't want to get out of it. Yes. I would like somebody there with me though. I mean, it's like, I'm just like, it is what it is. Like, I'm, I'm just not, I don't, I don't, I don't yearn for it. It's just mm. like a shit. I mean, if you hit me up and I'm home. <laughs> like, no, you're not going out the like, way. Like, you, you know, like, but I'm just, I'm just really enjoy my alone time as much as I enjoy t- hanging out with other people. I hate hanging out That's with right. other people. It's cool sometimes. Here and there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. All righty. What you got up what you got up for us? Well, this is just in today. Today is Thursday. Monique the freak. Uh Monique uh is suing Netflix mm. for discrimination. I love us for real. So she is determined to get a check, a bag from Netflix one way or another. I'm thinking she's hoping for a settlement. So they'll still give her some money. But what she thinks she's about to win in court? She's not going to win. She literally doesn't have... Like, she doesn't have really have proof. <laughs> I mean, they pretty much... Netflix is providing every all this content proving that they're not discriminating. Yeah, that and like her argument when she first came out with everything basically said that she gave they they gave men more than they gave women. And then it said they gave um, white women more than they gave black women. And it's kind of like you're talking about people that are fucking relevant. Right. You're you're compa- you're compa- when is the last time that we have seen you do something? For real, for real. So I, I, well, I was a huge fan of Monique growing up. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like I don't know what she has to go off of. Even Tiffany Haddish's uh, "They Ready," you could even argue that on some. But there's multiple people in here that mm. have reputable careers, like coming up, that yeah. people want to see to have a new fan base. Right. So like, it's just like she really hasn't done anything to have like a valid and stable argument. You got the holes on your line. Hey man, you know how. You know you how it go. You got the holes on your line. You know how Tell it go. Tell them you're filming. I'm filming. We got it on mute, people. <laughs> we got it on mute, people. But I feel like one thing, I don't know what that man got over her, but she's been on the decline since she's been with him. And she may be happy in her personal life. Is that That's the father of her twins? She got kids? Just twins. Oh, I, yeah. Do they, do they even say anything? Do they speak out? They uh, defend her, their mom. They're kids. She too young. She too old to be having. Young. They're, they, they're not. They're not like sixteen, seventeen. Oh, okay. They'd be like like tween ages, like around your daughter's age. Oh, yeah. Either way, but I'm about to find out for sure. <laughs> her husband was Sydney. It's like even when she's doing interviews, her hand is in his lap like this while she's ta- like, "We're trying to talk to you. Why is yeah. he here on camera?" It's a, it's a difference if he... Yeah, they were born in 2005. Two boys. And then I guess that's his son. No, oh, that's a beautiful family. Yeah. For sure. Anyway, Monique... Ma- I look ma- like Professor Ogilvy. <laughs> Hi, Professor Ogilvy! <laughs> All right, come on, for real. We focusing. We focusing. We back. So, best of luck to her, I guess? Yeah, best of luck to her. Um, Like, I... I, I, I 
I see what she's trying to do. She waited too late. Um, but that is the first thing. Um, and I just don't think that she has a strong enough argument. But shit, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go against her efforts to make it happen, if that makes sense. Like, if you go ahead, go for it, sister. Like, Might as <laughs> well. I mean, you ain't doing nothing else. She ain't told a joke. Oh, I think she has um, a residency in Vegas. Who the fuck going to fly to Vegas to see Monique? Hey, people be in Vegas. J-Lo has a residency in Vegas. That, that, J-Lo. You are right. Monique. You are very, very right. J-Lo. You're very, very right. You're right. Monique. I'm sorry. You're right. But You're she right. thinks she J-Lo. Remember when Monique had a talk show? I could not listen to it. She was screaming the whole time. She was. Hey! That's exactly what the whole show sounded like. <laughs> All right. Can we move on, Monique? Speaking of talk show, speaking of talk show, I got one for you. Keisha Cole, sources say Keisha Cole is expected to have a talk show. What do you think about that? What you think about that one? Hey, boo. Keisha Cole is fine. She sure is. She is fine. I like and her. And she hush. Like, she reminds me of, like, a Bay Area version of me. It's crazy. If I was from the Bay Area, that would probably be me. But I have my mom being, you know. Yeah, I like, I like, I I like Keisha a lot. She is dope. Um, I just saw an interview with her, um, Nick Cannon did with her and her fiance. Um, what's his name? Noah? I don't know. I just called her. I don't, fine, yeah, I don't, man. I don't. Well, I, I no, it's no disrespect, but I, I really don't know his name. Or I can't remember his name. I just I do know that he writes uh, music and things of that nature. Um, so <laughs> Nick Cannon called Keisha his elder. And she was like, I am not his fucking elder. Even though she is, according to age. Um, How old is he? Because she's like my age, right? Yeah. And he's like 24. Keisha, come on, man. <laughs> you know that ain't going to work. He's 24, maybe 25. That's not going to work. He seems like a very mature dude, though. We all do when we're trying to. It's Keisha motherfucking Cole. Why wouldn't you get it together? Well, I... Jermaine Dupree had it together for a little while when he was with Janet. He did. He had it together for a little while. They've been together at least like two years. Okay. Now. Well, I won't throw. They a sh- got a child together. Oh, uh, okay. I won't throw shade. Then. You know, like they they congratulations. Seem very happy, blossoming, and all of that great stuff. Like that. Ooh, blossom really fast. Janae Aiko t- uh, teased us today. How you get from blossom to J- block? Because Janae Aiko reminds me of a flower every time I hear her name. I think we'll flower. You gotta explain this stuff before you just <laughs> blossom. Janae. I'm like, what? Blossom. Every time I hear blossom, I think of Janae Aiko. Okay. Backwards. The way I said it the first time. Because that time it didn't make sense. Oh Edit that shit out. It didn't make sense first time, but. <laughs> yes, it did. I don't know what it is about her name. She just makes me think of a fucking flower. She just make you think of a flower? No. Mm, sorry for you. I like her. She made me think about eating booty. Because of the line. Out of all of the shit she's made. You know that's her most famous line. No, it's what? But he got to eat the booty like girl. And I like, you know what? You smart. But she's very talented. She is. She uh, teased us today um, with a little what looked like an album cover. Okay. I'm here for it. Don't play with me, girl. I'm fucking triggered. Don't play with me. That sounded kind of psycho. I'm not playing with her. She can't do shit like that. She has to just drop something or not. You are like Keisha Cole. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, I'm like the see New York it. version. I love Keisha Cole. I love her. I love her. I really do. In other news, Colin Kaepernick. Oh. Y'all still standing with Cap? Uh, he has a tryout with the NFL, not specific teams, but the NFL is hosting a tryout Saturday right here in Atlanta. Right here in Atlanta. 11 teams have committed to showing up. Wow. Um, question, because I don't know shit about football, um, besides that my father is a Cowboys fan. Okay. That's it. Um, and I just, I guess I have to like them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. for sure. Because that's the only thing I know about it. Um, but are people invited to that? Like, is that an open thing or is it just like the teams? I think it'd be like some media outlets that are present, some representatives that are available to go, but I don't think it's open to the public, no. Somehow, I feel like this is just going to cause major traffic. <laughs> that is all I can think about. I don't know how. I don't know why. 
But I know that. But can you really tell in Atlanta? Because there's always no. I'm just talking about like in that area, like major unnecessary traffic right on Northside Drive. Trying to get a glimpse of them, like, or something try like that. Something. I don't know. I don't know what goes through people's minds. Just, I, I, I just. I'm just confused as to why we are still either boycotting the NFL or if we're not, why are we still standing with Cap to get back in the NFL when all he had to do was stand up? He could have been in the NFL. I mean, we did all this for you to go back to the NFL? It's been three years. Nigga, get off your knee. It's really that simple. Like, but now we got traffic about to be backed up. He had to get a whole settlement, a whole Nike commercial. And on top of that, the motherfucker ain't said shit about nothing socially relevant at all. I can't hear him pouring wine. This nigga hadn't said shit it's in so two years. Here. Police gunning us down. It's so loud in here. Women. And kids are being kidnapped. This motherfucker ain't said shit, but uh, I want to do a workout. I want to do a workout with the NFL. I appreciate y'all for standing with me, but I still want to bend this motherfucker. He got to explain this, though. Oh, man. So, man. I don't get it. I had to sip uh, my tea. (laughs) And on top of that. Everybody was mad at Jay Z for partnering with the NFL. You know, I, you know, I said what I said yeah. about that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really see much wrong with it. But now we we okay with Cap partnering with the NFL, potentially being hired. I don't get black people. I don't get Cap. Cap had braids for six months, and people are applauding Jay now for because they say that he had something to do with him getting that workout or that deal. But a couple of months ago, ah, oh, this nigga sold out for the NFL. To me, it looks like they're all selling out for the bag. It to me, it looks like Cap peddled a black issue into a bag. That's what it looked like to me. Sips wow. of vodka. And that is why this is my fucking co-host. Um, well, here and back and forth, we like to take the uh low road. <laughs> When they go high, what is it? We go no. When they go low, nigga, we on the floor with it. <laughs> <laughs> we on the floor, goddamn shit, and that was on the floor. So I'm um, sitting without cap. Okay, yeah, I and get that's that. No cap. Um, but I do, I do think he need he owes a little bit of an explanation. Yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know, I, again, I don't really know that much about like football. But I do, I am familiar and I have done my research on what has been going on in the movement. But I... Ain't no movement. I just haven't heard shit. Ain't no movement. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And and and, and a lot of times, um, our people tend to, uh, like, not stick to a situation for long. Mm-hmm. You know, like, we'll be, like, really into something and then it's something else. And there'll be few people that still are into that cause because they're passionate about it. But as the masses, like we have to do like way better at just being on one accord. We can get it together though. I have fucking faith. Yeah. I think we can. I really do. I just think it's one of those things that we never really agreed this was the direction we and you know why? We never agreed on this is the direction we're gonna move. Cause Cap never said which direction we were gonna move. Yeah. We assumed it for him. Yeah. And he sat back like I never said I was gonna do that shit. I right. just didn't fuck with what was happening. Nigga, I just took a knee because my leg hurt that day. And they thought it was a black issue. I had to tie my shoe. <laughs> what? I had to tie my shoe. Niggas was like, bro, bro, you started some shit. N- nigga tapped them and was like, look up. He was like, you see mad black people like, yeah, brother. You did that. And see, here's the other hot take. <laughs> here's the other hot take. Get out. There are people in the NFL that, that, that never left that continue to kneel, right? Oh. His teammate. So here's a hot take when people say, well, there's no reason he shouldn't be in the NFL. Oh yes, God. there is one reason he shouldn't be in the NFL. Because <laughs> them motherfuckers don't want him there. <laughs> when jobs don't want to hire you, they don't hire you. That's pretty much it. That's... Like, we can't file a lawsuit. Well, That's I'm good much. enough to work here, but 
y'all y'all keep him. Yes, they're keeping me out. You know why? They don't they want, don't want you. you there. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yep. Yep. I completely I completely understand. Uh, speaking of don't want, uh, Summer Walker feels like the fans don't want her. Um, she feels like uh, we are not appreciative of her, and she has social anxiety, which is a real fucking thing. My BM has um, it. Yeah, like it's it's a it's a real thing. I have a friend with social anxiety, and that shit. Like you can't help what you wind up being passionate about, um, and 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 I, I really think that like the world is just on some different shit. She basically wants to quit music. Um, she has a tour called the first and last tour that she'll basically ever do. She um, expressed in an interview. Well, it was a, like a kind of little talk for him with her and Ari Lennox um, that she's over touring. She hates doing it. She doesn't like it. Um, and she really just wants to make music and play her guitar. Like that's literally, um, she has been saying that I've like, I had to go back and do a little research on myself beyond her saying she had social anxiety and she literally has been saying it since forever. Like, even when she talks to people, it's hard for her to look people in the eyes. Like, she like she feels like people are always judging her. Um, and for those who don't know, let, let me get, let's give the actual definition of social anxiety. What do you think about it? Well, I think, well, I didn't hear all the things about she felt the fans are unappreciative. Yeah, she made a whole Instagram post about it saying she was quitting music. And I and I didn't I didn't know she was quitting music. I knew she wanted to quit touring. I know she wanted to quit the meeting greets because she did receive backlash from the fans. And she um, wasn't hugging them. Right, she was hugging them. The energy was just off, and that was reported throughout her whole legs of her tour. So it wasn't just a one off. Yeah, it was just like this is how she is. So I I knew she was going through that. So I knew she was trying to quit the touring, but I didn't know that she was like, nah, fuck y'all too. How she you say made, fuck the fans? So, so, so what happened first is she said she was quitting, but she was going to continue the tour. And then she said she was going to uh, discontinue the tour. Um, so for those who don't know, social anxiety disorder is a chronic mental health condition in which social interactions cause irrational anxiety. For people with social anxiety disorder, everyday social interactions cause irrational anxiety, fear, self-consciousness, and embarrassment. That is a real fucking thing. That is, I just have, I have anxiety. I don't think I have social anxiety. What is anxiety? So, um, anxiety causes me to have panic attacks. So I can't ever control it. It's, it's something, well, I'm sure that if I, if I, if I cope better with it, then I'd be able to control it eventually. Um, but I'll just be in a, in a big space. That's what causes my anxiety most of the times I find. Um, I'll be in a big space and it just, shit, just feel like it's closing in on me. Really? You ever see the whiz? <laughs> yeah, when the fucking walls start moving mm. and shit, <laughs> it feel it literally feels like everything's closing in on me. I can't catch a grasp of my breath. I start breathing very fast. I cannot calm down, but I'm still seemingly calm from the outside. But I am freaking the fuck out on the inside until it gets to a point where, for me, um, this happened to me for two years out of my college experience. Um, I matriculation through Clark Atlanta. I would pass out. Like I would drop, like my heart would start beating so fast. And next thing you know, I would wake up on the floor. That happened to me for two years at CAU. And they would just say stress, anxiety, like that's all it would um, deem it as. But that's really what had me smoking weed at one point because I, mm. it used to like keep me calm. But so because I have anxiety, I can relate to at least a little bit to what social anxiety might feel like. Because when I have anxiety, I think I feel like everybody's staring at me. Everybody's you ever seen those uh, those camera angles? Where it looks like people are turning on one person or they see, like, maybe they're in a public space and it looks like everybody's looking at them. It's like a fish eye kind of angle. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I know That's what the fuck that feels like. Really? And it's like, hmm. And you, but you seem calm from the outside because you can't fucking move. Yeah. Like, I have passed out in, like, public settings um, because I have... I had a case of anxiety. So I definitely think it's a real thing. People are really like, well, she shouldn't have fucking signed up for this. And I I looked into an interview with her mom and she was like, uh, Summer's always enjoyed being alone. She's always been an introvert. She's always been a person that's been alone. And anytime she feels stressed or any kind of way, she'll go grab her guitar and play that shit nonstop. Like that's always been her relief. So making music is her relief. But she happened to get famous. You hear how she got famous? Mm -hmm. 
somebody Googled her that had the same name as her. It happened to be AR of the label she signed to. Her name is Summer Walker as well. Mm-hmm. And she wanted to Google herself and came across her on YouTube. Somebody Google Dope Tomorrow. Somebody Google it's one TK. Of one. Come on, yo. It's one of one. Somebody Google TK. Takaya Jackson. Anything. I, I don't have anxiety if that's what it is. I, you know, I don't. Even if you feel nervous in certain settings and you can't really explain it, that's a form of anxiety. Like butterflies? No, no. Oh. Like nervous and you can't explain it more so. Anxiety. I only get nervous when like somebody walk up on me. That's kind of that's kind of normal. It's kind of like Uh-oh. it's kind of like human instinct. <laughs> I got to have an issue. You don't. Like I'm, I'm not like, It's tra- crazy. So when I get nervous when people walk up on me, I'm not afraid of most things. But when my anxiety kicks in, it's not necessarily that I'm afraid. I just feel Do you feel small or something? Like I feel like everything is fucking closing in. I'll be like like I try to like calm myself down first hmm. and then it gets out of control and then I start like my tears start running down my face and I can't like I start shaking. And I can't control any of that. This shit is really scary. Wow. That shit is super scary. Well, I've learned to like try to calm myself down over the years, but it's still a very scary thing. Well, I'm prayers to anybody that's going through that. That's, Seriously. That's and some... prayers up to Summer Walker. I, just let that girl make her music. Like y'all ain't say shit to SZA. SZA ain't even tell y'all niggas she was quitting. She just stopped making music. She come back. SZA, we need you. We need you. We do. But still, SZA did not. Like, all Summer Walker had to do is just not say it. <laughs> so now, now, is this a a new age black woman thing? Because you- Ari Lennox is experiencing this shit. What? Anxiety? All, yeah, like this whole, this music stuff. I can't. Um, Summer Walker, SZA. SZA actually never said she experienced experienced it. She was a writer before anything. So mm-hmm. I think that she was she was just like, shit, let me try my own music. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I'm wondering I'm gonna go back to writing. I'm wondering if it's the pressure of social media on I these newer women. Cause it's so much and it I don't is. I don't consider I guess and you would have to answer this. Do you see other women on IG and feel insecure or that you're in competition with them? I don't feel insecure in competition. I'm, I'm, I'm for the most part confident in myself. However, it does put ideas in my head, if that makes sense. Um, so like I wanted liposuction after seeing all of these. I was like, shit, all I got to do is just get a fucking tummy tuck. Mm-hmm. And my belly, my stomach's gone. You're like thirteen hundred dollars, something like that. Yeah, yeah, like what? That's all I gotta do. And you can do that shit on care credit. Like, all I gotta do is get a tummy tuck. And I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, no, I really don't like their belly buttons. I had to snap back to reality. <laughs> I'm being serious. They remake you a belly button. I don't like the way them belly buttons be looking. So even though one of my coworkers, she showed me hers. We had a great conversation about it this past weekend and hers looked phenomenal. Mm. But that's fucking one in a million. You know, like I have never. She showed me another girl who didn't have a belly button. Yeah, I done heard about that, too. She was like, if you look closely and she scrolled in, I was like, bitch, it's not there. Do you really need a belly button? Mm. Uh, I want one. That's a weird want. (laughs) I want my fucking belly button. Okay, I want my goddamn belly button. I want my goddamn it's, it's belly some, button. It's one of those things that I wouldn't miss until I don't have it. Where the fuck is my belly? I, sometimes I just be like this. I rub <laughs> my stomach. And I, I'm a miss going over that little... Really? For real? <laughs> I want my damn belly button. But yeah, like I, I, I just looked into like other methods of like trying to get the stubborn fat gone. But it does definitely apply pressure. Uh, social media. Now, I don't know that um, if they've had these these women have had anxiety prior to, but I do think that the media is way harsher on women. Like, especially because like it's 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 a wave of not even like women rappers, women artists. They're crossover artists. They rapping and they singing now. Like. They're keeping up with the boys, essentially, um, and doing better than some of them. Facts. A lot of them. Like, and it's 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 a lot of pressure. So every little thing that you do, it's ah, 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 ah. Microscope. Yeah, like you put one image out, that's what people know you as for life. And it's like, 
you can't grow where it's harder to grow. Um, and yeah, I, I, I even looked in the comments for that Summer Walker shit and it is the fucking worst. Like it, it, it just, bitch, go back to where the fuck, go back to your cleaning business, bitch. Who raised these motherfuckers? Well, these are the same people that also booed Drake recently. Oh my goodness. We so definitely have to talk about that. We are in a place in society where people are just, you know, trolling was a thing of just the internet. My head. Now people are trolling in in reality just because it makes moments. Like, you're booing Drake. Like, it's, it's fucking Drake up there. But it's because Drake. because you had it in your head that it should have been somebody else, you just find it necessary to boo him. And it doesn't make sense. It's not the quality of performance. It's not the quality of show. It's not the person. It's just the person. Because <laughs> they did. showed different clips with them, like, rocking to shit. And a lot of the thing I think maybe overplayed where it may be part of the crowd that booed. Or so, where that person was standing, the people around yeah. them booed so it sounded louder. Right. Yeah. So, I can get that. But, I mean, it was, it was enough for him to exit. Hey, Drake is a humble being, and I, I think that if he if he wasn't humble until this point, that was a very fucking humbling experience. The universe makes no mistakes, okay? He said it was a moment of humility for him. Yeah, so the universe it. makes no mistakes, but he went back when he bitch asses. <laughs> I, I can't damn. wait that he drop a new project. It's going to be fire. When is he dropping a new project? Soon, I hope. Please. Come on. We need next year. We need. I need Drake and Scissor. We need. Oh, we definitely need Scissor back. I need Drake and Scissor. Hair goes. Yes. Yes. We need a Scissor project. We need a Drake project. We need a Kendrick project. J. Cole already said he Ooh, dropped. You know who I want to hear? Um, have you seen Rhythm and Flow? No. Okay, so one of my friends was on Rhythm and Flow. Shout out to London B. That's my girl. Uh, she had the Corella Deville, you know, the salt and pepper, the mohawk thing going on. I'll show you her. Okay. Um, hey. She uh, made it to the final uh, three. So uh, she was the only female to make it to the final three. Um, she didn't uh, win the ultimate contest, but they uh, T.I. and Chance the Rapper did a um, an interview stating that everybody that like, they're going to have the resources. So mm -hmm. y'all will be good regardless. Um, so she made good resources from it. But the dude that did win, his name is D Smoke. And they said he fired too. Oh, nasty. Like he's he's really like a Kendrick Lamar. Okay. <laughs> um, but I think that I think that we have more room for Kendrick Lamar's. Yeah, for sure. So I think that he'll he'll flourish. Yeah. You know, like if he he has a unique sound, but it's a Kendrick Lamar. Like if I can base him off of anybody, mm -hmm. he raps in Spanish. He's a high school. Oh, la bifita, he's, he's really fire. He really is. Um, but. Cape diem. I don't even think that's Spanish. Oh. Sorry. Moment Continue. But yeah, no, um, I definitely think that they should do something together. I'm with they it. Should. They should. All right. Um, you know what I just saw? <laughs> I forgot to bring this up earlier when we were talking. Orlando Brown has a baby on the way. Just one? I thought he had multiple baby mamas. The way he be acting. The post he be the post he made about this child, he makes it <laughs> he makes it seem like this is his one and only. Has he calmed down? Let me see this picture. We're talking about 3J, right? It don't the look guy like from Death So Ray. No, he's sick. He looks sick. But you know he got herpes. Not that people with herpes <laughs> look sick all the time. <laughs> no, I'm just saying he 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 is under he does have something. Herpes don't ever make you look like this. Like, at no point in herpes... Well, I'm just saying he you, got that. He may have something else, too. That's all I'm saying. AIDS make you look like that. Well, oh my God. it could be. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's 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 on, he's on lockdown. Um, but he I think he's happy. Uh, hey, I just... I hate to see uh, Disney stars really plummet like that. That should be hurting my heart. That's my fucking childhood. And then it's like, I do crack! <laughs> it's like... Why? Because that is not no regular shit. That is not no regular shit. Correct. No, I'm saying the way these people be looking when uh, they plummet. That's that Hollywood, man. Y'all on some next shit. But yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with it at all. I don't fuck with it. Uh, you told me you don't fuck with Kodak getting arrested or on gun charge. All uh, right, yeah. So Kodak Black just got convicted uh, and sentenced for a gun charge from earlier 
This year? That's yes. when he got arrested in Miami? He got arrested for, yeah. He, okay. he was trying to buy a gun legally, which he's a felon, so he, I don't even know who. He should why have had better advisement. Person, why didn't the person that sold him the gun go to jail? Well, no, they read the, you know, they run background checks when you go try to purchase a gun. Yeah. Yeah. But. You go so, to jail. Oh, so if you try to purchase a gun to your fellow, you just got to go to jail? Yeah. Oh, they tell you, don't try to purchase no gun. It's like trying to purchase drugs. Just because you didn't get them, <laughs> you still go up for trying. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. But then, and then also remember he earlier he got caught trying to, he took the wrong route to get to a show in Boston, ended up going to Canada. So the Border Patrol stopped him because it's a criminal trying to cross in Canada. Yeah, so he got convicted of well, two months shy of four years. So he's, Wait. <sighs> yeah. He just got, he was driving himself to a show. Kodak Black. Bro, Canada? He read the GPS wrong. He but why is he driving? Boston? From where? where was he? I don't know. But why is he driving? He's a star. You driving yourself out. to a show? It has to be stressed out. Man, what, what, the hell, what the hell you got up next? I don't know shit about this situation. Free Kodak, man. I, I really, I don't want to see a black man in jail. So free Kodak. I don't either. I just hope that he just has better you know, people in his life when he gets up. Yeah. I, and I hope that his mindset is really matured. He, he's had a lot of opportunities. So I do understand the sentencing. Um, they were looking for eight years. He got three years and 10 months. Hey, Bobby Schwerner comes home next year. I was, ma'am, what you talking about? Bobby Schwerner comes home next year. Did Roddy, Russell, he took the deal with Roddy Rich, right? So Roddy comes home next year too? Not Roddy Rich. <laughs> Artist out of LA. Roddy Rebel. Roddy Rebel. Yeah, Excuse man. Excuse me. You know. So sorry. Roddy Rebel. Roddy, they come, he comes home next year too, right? See, that's what happens when you go away. Motherfucker come out with your name and shit. This shit confused. Has it been seven years? No, I don't know they get out in 2020. The end of 2020. Like close to the end of the year. Yeah. Well, shout out to Smurda. That's a real one. He is. I'm so excited. I, I know he's going to come out and jump right back in. Yeah, so we can get to Kaja 6 9 the fuck out of here because New York looking bad right now. Shout out Casanova two times. Yeah, period. That's it. You know what I'm talking about? That's about it. It really is. What else we got on docket? We, we kind of mentioned Disney stars. So Disney Plus launched this week. Mm. $6.99 for all your childhood memories and favorites, which I will not be purchasing. I will, however, be using my three email addresses that I have and running through that trial period. How long is it? I don't know. Probably a month. Oh, but I got two. I'm going to make a third one. And I'm going to do the same thing. Goddamn right. God damn it. I, I, you know, I thought God about buying it. it. <laughs> I thought about buying it, but I'm like, I actually enjoy being an adult. I don't really care to relive my childhood that much. I have fun. Well, I have a, I have a, I have a two year old. So, well, yeah. I, 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 I want my son to witness and experience the shit the way I did. We are now at the Aladdin phase of life, um, and he calls the movie Genie. Hey, he'd be like, my, hey, of course, because he is. This is this Generation X? So this Z, Z, whatever. What a shit. Well, what's next? We well, start over at A? Z, well, Z is probably going to be for the next 20 years. Then do they start over at A? I don't know what they God damn, I'm going to be old by the time the next generation come. But anyway, 40. that's old, okay? But uh, anyways, so, sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not 40. <laughs> <laughs> what is she talking about? Ah, no, but no, for real. He saw the one with Will Smith. So, oh, that's a good one too. It is. I, Will Smith did amazing, bro, but that's that's the Aladdin that my son knows. I shed a tear. He in doesn't that know the Aladdin that you know we know. So I shed a tear. In he that calls it Genie. He'd be like, "Mommy, I watched Genie today, like Aladdin, Genie." That's that's what it is. So Lion King, like my like his mom, is his first favorite movie, and now we're on to um, is Trolls a Disney movie? No. Oh. Maybe, yeah. maybe a Pixar, and I think Disney kind of Yes, owns they Pixar. are. Yeah, so that, Moana, we did Moana. Yeah, Moana he for sure. He freaking loved Moana. But he I asked you. He still loves Moana. Is it worth $6.99 a month or $6.99 every three months? 
Oh yeah, no. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I got three. I already told. We here. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, you ain't got no arguments here. Maybe I want to watch a Disney movie. Okay, I'll pay six ninety nine for thirty days. Right. But I'm cutting that bitch off until I'm ready to watch right. Disney. I'm not paying all year long for no Disney shit. Plus, but I heard they have everything. That's what I'm excited. Just because I have a child, right? A younger child. If I didn't, I would be like, yeah, no, for what? <laughs> but let me tell you this: so, I can go rent it on Redbox or some shit. Right. <laughs> HBO Max is dropping next year. What is that? Everything. They about to. They gonna tear the game up. HBO is owned by Tom Warner. Tom Warner owns Warner Brothers, Warner Media, HBO. They gonna have all Sorry, the. I remember content. when they started? Hmm? Uh, Tom, you said Time Warner. Time like Warner. Warner Brothers. All of that. I remember when Warner Brothers. I was a kid. Right. All all of that wow. is owned by HBO. Wow. So we talking Sopranos. We talking Friends. We talking Wayne's Brothers. All of that shit. Game of Thrones. I just love how technology is really fucking super. Not just advancing, but super advancing. We're in a good like, space. It's a phenomenal thing. It really is. So um, I think we should move along. And we talked about this a few episodes ago. When? We, we did. Last year? Yes. I don't remember. Fucking shade, dog. You can go to India and really come back different. How, before we talk about that, how was your trip? Long. It was long. I was it? It wasn't like spiritual, therapeutic. No, it wasn't. Um, we went on black people there, and I'm really connected with black people at this point in my life. I was going to ask you a question about that too, but we'll what? see if we got time. Would you date outside your race seriously? No. I used to think I could seriously date white women. I, I just don't believe I can. Anymore. So when you say outside the race, you mean white women? Because <laughs> I dated Samoan. <laughs> I guess, yeah, because I, I consider people of color all... I mean, you mean black, black and brown people. So like brown people, I Indians think, are brown people. Yeah, I know. But I was thinking like, I don't. Cons- I guess I consider, I guess they're outside of our, but I just see brown. So, so my thing is like, physically, I have never been attracted to any... Body, but black men, <laughs> mm. uh, black women fine as hell too. But and that goes but so far. But <laughs> I've never been attracted to anybody outside of black men. Um, I mean, I like some white girls, but I like yeah, but I I I'm not like closed off to it if that makes sense, you know. However, I do come from a very I come from a, ed- a family full of educators um, and fucking comedians. So there's literally no. In between, Mm -hmm. you either get super sarcasm educated, you need to be able to know politics and keep up with the punches, or you get, motherfucker, your pants tight as hell. (laughs) Boy, you pale as shit. I'm about to cut your ass. Like, you know, so my family is a little like one or the other. So if I if I date outside my race, I don't care who the fuck I'm dating, you just gotta be able to keep up with. That shit. <laughs> yeah, I just don't feel like they would be able to understand. Like, Me either. My, and I don't want that to ever be an argument in my yeah. relationships. That's just something I, I prefer not to be a problem. Yeah. It's like, if it happened and it, and it meshed and it was cool and it was unforced and all that shit, I'm not opposed to it. However, if I have to think about it at any point, <sighs> you, yeah, we different. Yeah. Then it's not gonna work out. Yeah, it's not gonna work out. But to answer your question. You know, the flight was long, but I did get business class. So I did have leg Ooh. room, plenty leg room. Did you out sleep? Here. Was it Man, one it of was, those pods where you got to go to sleep? Yeah, because it's a. Uh, Does everybody 14th? get that, or is that just a first class business hey, class thing? <laughs> you know the vibes, man. We only do it big over here, baby. But no, for real, on a no, flight, not everybody gets it. Bro. I would have been fucking. Yeah. People be sitting up for that long. Yes, matter of fact, one of the coworkers that I rode with, she actually. I'm acting like I'll take the China bus to New York. That shit, 15 hours. <laughs> Never yeah. mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to that, but I be laid out. I sleep yeah. across two chairs, it, it, but sometimes I don't begin to. I be sitting next to somebody. It's a different man. The time and different. The food different. The food not bad, by the way, but for real, food different. I like Indian food out here. Can't really drink the water, but you can't really drink the water here either. So bottled right. water. Bottled water, water. They don't give you regular water. They only sell bottled water. Well, that's all we ask for, and I think they know from Western civilization that we can't because of I think it's like cholera that's just naturally present. That if you hadn't been drinking it since you were born, you gonna get sick instantly. 
So they Sick just how? What's cholera? That exactly. sounds like an allergy medicine. Exactly. It, yeah, it's just something in their uh, fertilization in their water. Fertilization, like the to dirt, get you nigga. pregnant. The, the dirt, the fer- <laughs> <laughs> the ground. <laughs> you fertilize ground too. So no, but no, for real. I didn't. I didn't know that. You you got shots before you went there, right? I sure did. Got okay, five of them motherfuckers. Yeah, everybody says you should go. Lonnie went to uh, Bali. Shout out to my best friend Lonnie. He just turned thirty. Um, he's- and he went and let y'all. He went drive the boat. Yeah, yeah, because he's a real motherfucker. I was I not let, about to let my nigga drive the boat. I would have got the boat driven. I like alcohol. He like alcohol too, though. But no, nah, I said, y'all just get that nigga this bottle and let him drink this shit. Y'all not about to let my homeboy that bought this <laughs> bottle drive this fucking boat. He said. <clears throat> I said, Lonnie, you better not. <laughs> you better not. But yeah, he went to Bali. He got bit by a monkey. Um, it had a, a slight ATV accident. But, but he said outside of that, it was phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> He made it back in one piece. Yeah. <laughs> like a little swollen, but he's alive. Um, yeah. So shout out to him. But yeah, so I, I definitely want to travel to India. So as long as, at least the food's good. He said the food wasn't amazing Yeah, go to a place like, I mean, I was in like a no, semi-progressive. The food's good. The food's good. Yeah, the food's good. Yeah, he said the food was in season out there. Well, it's all spicy. So I love it's, spicy It's season. Shit. It's just spicy. I love that shit. I love curry. <laughs> they got a lot of curry. <laughs> got a lot of curry. All right. Um, so what I was about to say, I'm, I'm really happy you enjoyed yourself in India. I'm happy you made it back I in one piece. You just said I didn't enjoy it. Yes, you did. Okay, fine. I yes, enjoyed Yes, you it. did. I, I enjoyed it. You said the food was good. That don't mean I enjoyed and- myself. <laughs> <laughs> he bitch I'm, had no ass. Well, I'm happy that <laughs> they were pretty though. They be beautiful. They were beautiful. Well, I'm happy that you made it back in one piece. Me too. Let's say that. I was out there for two weeks. I'm happy. Yeah, that was a long time. Um, I'm happy you made it back in one piece. I'm, ha- I'm sad you didn't enjoy yourself because I feel like <laughs> India could be a fun place. Yeah. Um, it was a work trip too, so. Okay, yeah, that's different. Um, but speaking of enjoying themselves, <laughs> which you did not, uh, April Jones and uh, Lil Fizz which, a.k.a. Drew, which is still really weird for me to say. It's his name. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is So they are officially in a relationship. Um, April Jones has spoke out. And... I fucking agree with her. Like, What's she say exactly? She, she told the story of, of the timeline of how they met. They met through love and hip-hop. She didn't know this man prior to because him and Omarion weren't friends. Who don't know B2K? Come on. No, she knew B2K. I mean, like, she didn't know him personally because Omarion and Fizz were not friends. Like, Omarion wasn't friends with anybody from that shit. <laughs> like, he had isolated himself from the group. I would have, too, if I was Omarion. Get these niggas fuck away from me. I am however, a star. Fuck out of here. However... Omarion moved away from the group. Um, so they weren't friends. They met on Love and Hip Hop. Um, and she said she met him and then she just didn't see him for like two and a half years or something like that. And he came back around his life, started supporting her when she was going through all this extra shit postpartum with her second child, blah, blah, blah. She said Omarion wasn't um, like supportive of her in that role uh, of her experiencing all of that postpartum depression, et cetera. And he kind of was there just as a friend, though. She right. said at that time they didn't really like each other. Yeah. Um, then right. time moved on and they start fucking. Period. That's basically what it says. And now they're in a relationship. Um, but I, I just, again, we said this like four, three episodes ago. People are too fucking possessive. Right. Like I, I made a video about this that I'm editing on my YouTube. Okay. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. I want to see this. Um, and I have like a 14 minute video of me just talking about this shit. I think I might've been tipsy. <laughs> you gotta be some type of arrogant to think that you still own somebody's happiness when it's you're not with so them no more. so weird. Like I genuinely, I mean this in the pit of my soul. And I know that there'll be people in comments should know she's lying, blah, blah, blah. Who gives a fuck? If Who wants to be with a liar? Right. But no, if you, if you know me and you know my, me and my child's father's situation, you know, if my child's father would have date my best friend, I mean, my very best friend I would not lose an inch of fucking sleep. You can't. And let me tell you why. Because 
I don't think of him in that way. Right. If anything, it's a one up for a bitch like me because you already know his size, girl, because you talk to me all the time and you can tell him what the fuck his size is because he don't know. <laughs> and you can keep us all on one accord. If anything, that you're the liaison. OK, <laughs> you knew what I <laughs> you knew what I went through when I was with him. So if you want to and, and not saying that he will be like that with you, y'all may be happily ever after and get fucking married. I right. don't know. But you knew what I went through when I was with him. So if you want to move forward with that in mind, girl, do you, do you, I would only get upset if it's a thing that tries to be secretive. Like right. what the fuck are y'all doing? I know y'all fucking, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I know y'all are having sex. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Like, that's the only time I'll be like, okay, y'all are being very immature about the situation. I really don't care. And people who expect you and want you to care about shit that they care about. They so mad they at project them. that onto you. They like, so mad at Amarion for not giving a fuck. And she said that in the interview. She spoke about that in the interview. In the interview, she said, oh, people like, oh, Marion don't bother. He don't bother. But they're not seeing the behind the scenes. They don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Blah, blah, blah. And oh, I'm she's like, trying to say he bothers? Yeah, that's what she's trying to say. And I'm kind of like, like she got served with papers for custody of blah, blah, blah. Oh, like, well, I can understand that. She's crazy. Like, listen, crazy does not mean that you're an unfit mother. No, nah, but it, you mean you gotta paint them. You know, if you're going for custody, you gotta paint them as crazy as fuck and unfit. This is very true. Uh, crazy is unfit. You said and unfit. Like you just said, you can be crazy and not be a, and still be a fit mother. Yeah. I'm saying when you're going for custody, you need to paint them as crazy and unfit. Oh yes, this is very true. But she's not that. She has two businesses. She has a wine business. It's doing very well in California. It don't matter what the truth is. It matter no. what you get the courts to believe. Right. This is very true, but the courts believe the truth. <laughs> okay. Wise. I'm only, playing. I'm only playing. I'm only playing. I didn't believe that myself. I tried to. I, I feel like, like you said, I agree. I think we agreed months back when we talked about it. If you're not with that person, you can't dictate who they should find happiness with. And if you care that much, then obviously you still have something him. there. I do understand, like, if you have a baby mom, and I guess I said something off the wall in the comments I got backlash for, but <laughs> I do understand, like... Let me see if I can find that comment. I do understand if, like, that person is in your child's life while you're with that person. Mm-hmm. Y'all broke up, now y'all try to date. Now the child is confused as to why is this person with my mom now or my dad now. That's a little weird. Again, can it be managed... Yeah, but would you, is it, are y'all are, are y'all that connected where y'all even want to manage that problem? Or is it really just a fling and y'all trying to get y'all shit off and y'all shouldn't have the kids involved anyway? I can see how that could be an issue for me. Like, if, if one of my friends who's in my child's life starts seeing him with my daughter's mom, I can see how that'd be weird for my daughter. And at the end of the day, that's who most important. And all of this adult shit, how do the kids feel? I get that. I get that, right? That's but the only situation. I, I think that that's still a part of a life lesson. It's just her life lesson. <laughs> fuck that. You traumatizing no, saying, my baby girl. Not say, like, it's like, no, you can't date her because I don't want my daughter to fucking think yeah. that it's okay to date your friend's boyfriend. Yeah, you get your rocks off somewhere else, guy. Or just fuck her like everybody. I mean, like, don't be with her. Like, my thing is, if if it is if it is a genuine thing, like, if the intent, and, and again, I still, like, I don't know the intent, but I can just go based off of what each party, well, so far has said. Um, but it seems like it, they didn't come, she didn't come from a malicious thing. She said she had been single for, like, two years. She had been dating other people. It was never an issue. And then they, like, he came back around kind of thing, you know? No, and, I agree with that situation. So, but no, no, that's what I'm saying. So, like, if as long as the intent is not malicious, I don't think it should matter if you claim that you're over it or if you claim you don't care. Like, genuinely, if my child's father, again, were to date my my... If my child's, I would be mad if my child's father dated one of my sisters only because that means he's close to my fucking family. That's the only shit. I'm like, nigga, I don't, I don't want to see y'all. I don't want to see you. I think. See, I wouldn't be mad if somebody, if a girl that I used to mess with dated my brother. But no, see, this, it's just him, my baby daddy. <laughs> I wouldn't want. I he'd be like, my mama, my mama don't like him. Mm-hmm. 
he'd have to be at like family shit. <laughs> yeah. You know, like if he dated somebody, one of my siblings, that would be the only thing. But like my best friends, like that would that would be like and eventually I would get over that if it was really like, no, I really love him, which that would never happen. But should it happen? You throwing a lot of shade right now. I just want you to know. Am that. I? It's called microaggressions. I had a harassment course today at work. Wow. Yeah. Microaggressions. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I like that. Microaggression me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're being very microaggressive right I now. I like that. I can't wait to use that on somebody. Oh, I can't wait to use that on somebody. The first manager that talked to me tomorrow. <laughs> Excuse me. I think that you were being very microaggressive. <laughs> and I really just want to handle this in a efficient manner. I can't thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, like dating people, like it just, it just doesn't matter to me. Like if I really, if I genuinely don't care, I just don't. I remember I brought my one of my friends from college um to New York with me, introduced her to my first. The dude I lost my virginity, my first boyfriend, mm-hmm. like real boyfriend. She was like, girl, he is fine as shit. I was like, he think you too, you cute too, girl. Get at that shit. I was trying to set it up. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, yeah. Because I don't care about that kind of things. But I think people like, no, that's my person. Oh, yeah. My person. Mine. 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 Yeah. Mine. Forever? Forever? Ever? He's Forever. married. But if he marries a stranger, it's okay. It's weird. Yeah, hey, I don't get it either. Man. Freaking weird, bro. It's freaking weird. I don't get it either. Um, I had one thing to talk about, unless you had something else. Uh uh-uh. uh. That was it. Alexis Crawford. Man. That um, shit. I definitely wanted to talk to you about this because I know you went to Clark Atlanta. I did. Um, I explained on some of my other platforms. I used to spend a lot of time at Clark Atlanta being a Georgia State alumni, alum. And uh, I remember taking bus, Marta bus number 13 over there. So I frequent that campus a lot. Granted, she lived off campus. But being she was a senior, so yeah, being a Clark Atlanta alumni yourself, alumna, alumna. they teach you that your senior year, by the way. They don't tell you shit about it until you write, but but write about right until you're about to graduate. Damn it! I wish I hadn't graduated. (laughs) I wish I never went to college, but you didn't hear from me. Yeah, so (laughs) um, for those that don't know, Alex Crawford, 21 year old senior. Found dead in a from Athens, Georgia. From Athens, Georgia, found dead. In a nearby Atlanta park. Um, Indicator. Indicator. Um, in a tin bin. Oh, so they really tried to dispose of the body. I don't know what happened from what I've read, because I try to I try not so to So what do you have so far? And I can help you. Argument it happened. Well, this is what I heard. The the guy who looked like a fuck nigga, he looked like every fuck nigga that I met in college. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. He wasn't in college. Right. They never in college. They just be at the college. They be there. Right. Right. Um, He was trying to get at old girl. Old girl was rejecting his advances. And I guess she threatened to call authorities on him. And then the the guy's girlfriend, who's her roommate, kind of stepped in. And then from there, all I know is a suffocation happened. Body uh, turned up in a park. One of them led the police to the body. That's what I got. So that's that's pretty much the the entire story. I still have a few people that go to Clark Atlanta that know her. Um, rest rest in peace because For sure. that shit is so fucking weird to me. And before I even go into like what like what I know to be true that happened, like the people that know this shit that that said the shit, and then the news, it's like. I lived off campus and I had roommates, you know, like my senior year, I had an apartment and I had a roommate and it's just like, that could have been me. That could have been any of my friends. Like that shit is like very fucking weird. And to hear how shit uh, transpired is even crazier. So uh, there were, they wanted to have a threesome with her and she wasn't fucking with it. However, they were all drinking. They got drunk. Um, and he, forced itself on her and when she wasn't fucking with it it wasn't one of those we talked to her about it and we was all gonna do it tonight it was one of those they probably spoke to each other about it and then was like yeah but I'm pretty sure she got some type of hint about it before because somebody else said that she said it to somebody you know like I think that whatchamacallit is like trying me type shit her roommate excuse me so and this is prior to so her um they got intoxicated. He tried to feel on her leg. He tried to 
uh, kiss her. And when she approached him, when she said something about it, he said he thought he was, he thought she was her girlfriend, his girlfriend, the roommate. Fuck nigga, like I right. said. So, um, he followed her into the bath. They said she went to, she got up, went to her room and it went to the bathroom and he followed her into the bathroom. The door was closed. Uh, the reports say, I didn't hear this from anybody. I read this in an um, article. The reports say that the roommate was banging on the door. When he came out, he didn't have a shirt on, but she was on the floor, passed out. She wakes up and says that she didn't remember. That's what she said in the police report. She didn't remember him like following her into the bathroom. She doesn't remember any of that shit, but she remembered the first part that happened. So she wouldn't file a report with the police. The room, the girlfriend, Alexis, filed a report with the police. The girlfriend ba- was banging on the door. When he opened the door, they got into it. He said, "I didn't fuck her." Blah blah blah. He grabs the girlfriend's keys and leaves the house with, in her car. That already tells you what type of relationship that is. First of all, <laughs> but she, um, Alexis, goes to the police and files a report. Three days later, she goes up missing. Last place she was seen is the liquor store on Ralph David Abernathy, I believe. Mm-hmm. We all used to go to that fucking liquor store. Like that shit is mind blowing to me. Because I know, yeah. I know, okay. I already know. All right, you know, I ain't gonna. I was there too. I'm not that right. old. Nigga. All right, all right. Well, I'm just saying, I ain't know if they did it when you was there. They might have been new. <laughs> <laughs> they might have been brand new. You know, <laughs> new establishment. <laughs> They, you know, they might have been like, hey, can I, you know, I ain't gonna put them on front street, but still. So um, what they said happened was her and the roommate got into a physical altercation. Um, they got into a fight where the roommate began to strangle her. Uh, the roommate, well, the roommate like pinned her down. The boyfriend strangled her while they were fighting. The roommate puts a bag over her head. So and you're trying to murder her. Exactly. And then they dumped her in a plastic tin bin. How do they get a body out of a apartment complex when nobody's seeing this? They all, they didn't say that this happened in an apartment. Oh. They, they haven't said where this happened. They said that her body was found in the park. So this very well could have happened. In the fucking park. Who the fuck got a plastic bag? That'd be, that's crazy. That it's, if, if it happened in the park, it's premeditated like a motherfucker. You feel me? Like, not only did we kill you, we got rid of your body. But I guess that's what's still being discovered. So it's just like, imagine sending your kids to school and their senior year, they get killed by their roommate. Bro. Or imagine sending your fucking kids to school and they kill their fucking roommate. I'm, when I was 21 in college... That would be the furthest thing from my mind that my roommate would kill me. The furthest fucking thing. Now, granted, at Georgia State, we ran our dorm room. Don't get that fucked up. Shout but, out JG, shout out GC. Y'all know oh, the vibe. Man. We did. We ran roommates out of our oh shit. We had them moving out. We like, you better give it a program or not. It's gonna be. Busy and if you're not with it, you gotta get you gotta get, get, get to strap We playing our music loud, nigga. This how it gonna go? But <clears throat> it was never to the point of where like we about to have a. A body on our hands. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you know, I, I just wouldn't even think like that at that age. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. And, and that shit is, that shit is very scary because even though I'm a pretty tough chick, it can happen to any fucking body. Like, imagine you fighting your friend because you got, y'all got into it whatever you're younger and his fucking bitch just put a bag over your head. Right. Like, it's that, it's that easy. Yeah. Even as the strongest person, it's that fucking easy. Because them apartments, during them ages, dorms, apartments, it be mad people in and out of them shits. Everybody it got really a boyfriend. Is. Everybody got a girlfriend. I stayed in College Town. In, uh, this, well, it was it was new when I first got over there. So it was significantly cheaper. I had a three-bedroom from 975. Now their one-bedrooms are 1,200. Yeah. Go fucking figure. Right across from where I stayed in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Right across, like it was the. I used to walk to class every day. Like I didn't have a car until my senior year. It was phenomenal. People pulled up to my house because it was right there. It was just so convenient. all type of people be through. Yeah. And P, everybody mm-hmm. was in and out of all places yeah. in that building. So I definitely uh, send my condolences to Alexis Crawford's family, um, the entire CAU family, anybody that has known her, that knew her. She was a beautiful girl. Um, and just be safe, guys. Just uh, that and just sex trafficking and human trafficking right. in general. Yeah. I saw a story earlier where a girl said her Lyft driver tried to kidnap her. Yeah. Um, I think it was in Texas. 
Um, so like nobody is exempt from that shit. There's stories going around on on social media. Utilize it, look at it because it's really fucking serious and pay attention to your surroundings. Yeah, and apparently I just found this out because I don't I never really knew what sex trafficking was. Right. Um you ever seen Taken? Yeah. That's what sex trafficking is. When they you like uh, probably not to that degree, when they have the girls spinning around, it was like five thousand. Dollars. Probably is. But, right, I don't know, but I'm yeah. saying, I don't know if it is or not, but the how they got, it's like women for sale. I never thought about it because I've heard of like the male order brides and stuff. And, I, and I've heard about like, you know, prostitutes, but I guess the sex trap, the thing that bothered me about it now, again, because I'm so in tune with like black issues, is like they taking our women and our daughters from us to sell them to some perverts or some shit like that, which is stupid to me. So I asked the black men, you got to protect these women and these kids for real. Like, it's time out. license on the way. You know, I said I wasn't going to do it. No, I got that thing on me. No. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I, I I have to get a gun license. I don't really, I don't like guns. They're too loud. I'm a knife bitch. I like, oh, <laughs> shit. I like guns. I'm like Chris Rock. But now I have to go ahead and do that but shit. But it's just like, Black men, it's time for us to stop fighting with each other over trivial shit, over all of this extra shit that don't mean shit, and actually start looking at our women as partners versus our enemies. You know, I'm guilty of it too. Well, women like this and men like this, and they ain't shit. I get it. It's, it's a never ending war. It's fun to talk about, but in reality, I got your back. I got your back. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, fuck all that bullshit. We just got to be men for real with that. Like, I'm not getting my daughter snatched by nobody. Right. And it's crazy. What's even crazier to me is that prostitution is completely fucking legal in Vegas. And there are bitches willing to fuck I was, it. It's so many hoes <laughs> out here there are trying to give it up. That are trying to get money for, for their pussy. Fuck you snatching so, people for. So I think that the shit is not only fucked up, but it's pointless. It is. Is she going to give me... How much American dollars to fly to fucking Dubai and fuck you for two months? Bruh. Got you. There's women out there that are okay with that. It was a chick selling her bath water to niggas in vials, and they were paying for it. It's whole brothels out there. You can get your shit off. It's prostitutes. <laughs> that You can get your shit off if you into that type of shit. Like, fucking uh, Lamar Odom should have taught everybody that. Amen. But ending on a higher note, uh, this just in, Carmelo Anthony was signed to the Portland Trailblazers, guys. He was signed? Yes. That's what... He is officially signed to the Portland Trailblazers. Good, man. Um, Good. That means I might have to go visit my dad now. So... I'm, 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 gl I'm glad because he is a legend... Although we gave him a lot of, you know, flack for the last... I love Carmelo Anthony. But he started... I he fucking would, love him. I just felt like he liked his he had summers. Yeah, too. That end. I feel like he like yeah. I, I feel like he liked his summers. He wanted to go home in the summer. <laughs> just like y'all niggas can trade if you want to. <laughs> but I'm glad he Fuck got picked that. up for sure. Yes. Yeah, so uh, Portland Trailblazers. We will see how he does there. I've always been rooting for Carmelo, so I'm gonna continue to root for him. And shit, ball on him, being mellow. I mean, he's not gonna do that, but he don't play my nigga. <laughs> like he not nice. He just don't care no more. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga ain't cared in 10 that years. That motherfucker getting a check. He want that check. He, like, he bought that bread. That he bought, check. He bought the bread. Got that check. Real quick, I want to ask you, because we been, hadn't did this in a while. But and we, we actually do got time. because We got time. It's the internet. Um, how do you feel about the whole T.I. Hyman? Oh, my goodness. I had this conversation the other day. Check. Um, I don't think nothing's wrong with it. Let me tell you why. Okay. Let me tell you there why. You Let me tell you why. Yeah, I think that the internet is taking it as this man is in the fucking room with her looking up her vagina and seeing her hymen. Like, that is how the internet is reacting. I don't think as so. If, no, like, she's a woman. It's her body. Well, she just turned 21. She's 20. 18. 18 blood clot years old. And you're telling me my I can't check on my... She's not supposed to be... Like, in my eyes, she's not supposed to be having sex. In your eyes, would she ever supposed to have sex? No, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like, as an 18-year-old, like, my dad was mad as I lost my virginity way before 18. Right. And my father was fucking livid. And but you was, told him, didn't you? I did. you shared I, the story. I, I told him, but he was the cool parent. My yeah. mom was the one I was scared of. Taylor, 
Copeland, do not tell me when you lose your virginity. Tell your, <laughs> tell your Bryce mama. Bryce said you better fucking tell me because I ain't playing because I'm whoop your ass. Why? Because <laughs> people tend to uh, uh, love the boys and raise the girls. Fuck out of here. But I definitely think that um, it's it's really not an issue. Like to know if your daughter is still a virgin. Like I don't, I don't. I don't think I don't think it's as big of a problem. I just don't think that it should have been something he told motherfuckers. All right. Like you shouldn't tell people I'm at the doctor's office checking my daughter's hymen because my dad did that to me when I was younger. So I really don't. But how old were you when he did it? Well, shit. After a while, he could take like before I lost my virginity. <laughs> so like, that's why I told him because he was doing it. Well, like 11, 12. Yeah, 12, 13, around that age. But see, I, I I could understand that if, because, like, we just, the story we just talked about, especially in the black community, it's a lot of molestation that happens. That too. So I could see that for that. Um, I could see it. I can't, I can't see it. I could, if you worried about if she lost her virginity or not, just ask her. You should have that relationship where she should be able to tell you the yeah, truth. Yeah, but no. Yeah, but no. Like the, some women, no matter how 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 much, it's just like you're my dad. All right, so oh, like, like you're my dad. I don't so here's want... my third point: you find out it's broken. Now, what, what the fuck are you gonna do? Fight her? No, no, no. no. It, that's what, and that's what, that's another thing. I think people are assuming the absolute worst. It could be a thing where it's like, yeah, I might be upset. But now I have questions. But guess what? If you know you're going to get your hymen check for that reason and your relationship is already intact, why wouldn't you just say, hey, dad, we you wasting your time already? Because if I'm a fine out anyway. dad thing, like I just said, like society, but, but just when in you general. Were, but when you were fucking, tend, you didn't care about your dad. People tend to love the boys and raise the girls. No, I love my they, daughter. They tend to, they tend, and I don't, I don't mean that you don't love I'm your a, daughter. I, I just, just mean like they, they in comparison to to boy kids, people tend to. Oh, you lost your virginity. Praise him. Oh, girl lost her virginity. What the fuck are you doing, you whore? Like. And I say that they say that, but like it's it's a different energy, like it's a different type of thing that's given out, and I I just think that it should be a better handled situation. Again, I just don't think it's something he should have told people. I mean, because I come no, from a I come from Caribbean descent, and does it matter if Tiny's doing that? I'm about to say, could a woman I'm not, not do actually, that? Tiny's not her mom, right? Does but it matter a woman, if her mom's doing that? A female could they? My do My grandmother it? did that to me. As well, you I, feel I can, me? So it's just I'm like, that. are you guys having the same energy if it's a woman? And because uh, a lot of the the shit that I'm seeing or the uh, uh, lack that I'm seeing is, oh, uh, it's her body. Men are always trying to control a woman's body, which blah, is true. Blah, blah blah. That is true. It is. However, I I just don't like. But n- niggas this is with my da- child. But niggas with daughters are crazy. Oh, she. Why you buying her a training bra? Because she a woman. Like I, I, maybe I'm just more. My in tune. dad was way more lax than that shit, which is why, again, I said when I told him I lost my virginity, I thought he would be cool. No, and he lost his shit. I don't want to hear about your sexual exploits That's the same way. I'm not gonna tell my kid about mine. I didn't even tell him my sexual exploits. I just told him I cut school because I was fucking. I didn't say it like that, but you get it. And on that note, people, <laughs> we'll see you next week Thursday. Maybe. <laughs> no, we back at it. Ain't next week Thanksgiving? Oh shit, is it? No, it ain't. I think it's the week. Ooh. No, it's the week after. I host it. Oh, I got to host an event next week, Thursday. You know, we always seem to turn up uh, the day before Thanksgiving over here. We Have do. you noticed that for like the last two, three years? We do. Crazy. It has been. Next week, I'm hosting an event. You want to come out? It's like a, it's a music event. I think it's performing and stuff. You know what? I will come out. You should. I haven't been out in a long time. Yeah, you should. Um, It is. I'm going to show you the... Shout Shout God. Come fuck with me. We're going to go out. Happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday, old ass man. <laughs> His locks are growing beautifully. Hold up. He do got good hair, though. He got a good hairline, too. I can't wait to lock my shit. And a brill starting it. Okay. Um, right here. I just see it. So, ass out.
the words. <laughs> Goddamn nurse. <laughs> it's at 11.45 next Thursday. November 21st. I just forgot about that. That's why I started putting shit on my calendar because a lot of things are starting to happen. Yeah, what's up, man? So, tell them where they can find you. All right. So um, I have started to take YouTube serious. So make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube. The link will be below in the bio. Um, as well as follow me on Instagram, T-E-E-K-A-Y-Y underscore 31. Um, and Facebook, uh, Takaya Nia. If you, if you follow me on one, you'll have a link to all the rest. So... That's how that goes. Do you ever get your link tree up? No, I okay. didn't. Okay. But I'm working on it. Yeah, man. So follow me on IG. <laughs> Dope Tomorrow. My link tree is contained in the bio with all the links to what I got going on. Yeah, we talked again. We, right. we haven't done back and forth in forever. We have. Um, but my link tree is contained there. We can find links to my music. Big in the Pancakes. We just uh, sealed the deal on our 100th episode. So tune into that every Saturday. Yeah, man. Congratulations. Long time. It is, but you got to that shit. We did that shit, man. If you know the beginnings, and we're going to talk about some of the beginnings on 101 episode, which we're going to film tomorrow. It's hey. just been a long ride. Yeah, hey. it's a lot. You need to pull up on it. You ain't been on the I haven't. Track. I haven't. I'd be working on Fridays. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, and y'all do it too late. We do it extra late. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, man, doing all of that, I got a new project I'm working on as well. The God's Never You, Only Us. Oh. Again, Chop God oh, yeah, producing that. Should. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm giving him three bodies of music this year. Okay. All that. So the link tree is there on my IG follow. Dope Demar TV on YouTube. Back and forth. Well, it's posted on my channel, but y'all didn't really. Y'all, y'all. Just watch it on her channel. Listen. The, as long as y'all see my face, I don't Listen, give a fuck where you see it. I need y'all to subscribe to uh, Dope's channel as well. I'm saying. That motherfucker is the content king, okay? I'm trying to be the content queen, but I'm working my way up. He's already the content king. No, so. you got it, though. I just talk I, a lot of shit. You got a lot of diversity in Listen, your shit. but still. But still, I need if y'all fucking with me, that means y'all fucking with him. So, with that being said, we will catch y'all on the next episode, whether that's like a vlog type podcast. Mm. We might be out next week Thursday. We might be out in these streets, but mm. you'll only know if you tune in. So we'll see you next time on back, back, forth and forth, back, back, hey, forth and forth. Yeah. Check it out now. Hey, oh. I on any block. Hey! <laughs> and we out! <laughs>